Hi everybody, my name is Luis Vargas and in this occasion I'm going to talk about angular darts. I'm, I'm going to continue with the second tutorial in this series. Um, basically, we are creating a tool of heroes that appears in the sample as a sample application in the tutorials. If you don't want to create a tutorial from TypeScript, and you can also go to this page and that I have created. It's a git book, a small git book. Basically, it's a copy of the documentation, but this documentation is in Dart. Hopefully, as I told before, uh, most likely this week it's gonna appear a new version of the documentation for Dart. So you, you're gonna be able to see the documentation for Dart in the in the Google I/O in the Angular I/O page. Sorry. Hopefully, in here you're gonna be able to see the documentation. We're following this one now the hero editor and as you can see it appears this ugly page that says go to typescript i don't like that but hopefully this week is gonna be corrected okay continuing and the next step will be just create a new a new list of heroes okay i'm just gonna copy this one so you can see where can i get the data and then go to my lead folder and then my app component of that. I'm gonna close this annoying thing. And then just create here a list of heroes. And then finally, I'm just gonna do a control alt L so the code get, gets reformatted into multi line. Uh, some people would prefer one line because it's shorter, like me. I would prefer in one line, but other people would prefer in multi line. That's just preferences and it's up to you, whatever you, you choose. So this one creates those heroes list. And our objective is to show this list in our template. So here. So to show that in our template, I'm just gonna use something simple called ng4. In previous version of that of Angular Story it was called ng repeat. Now it's called ng4. So we are gonna do this ng4 this list ng4 oh uh, let me see before doing that i'm just gonna create this my heroes i need to create this here well, see and in here it's gonna be each hero right so instead that i'm just gonna put here the hero list so basically what I'm telling here is that for every hero of heroes I'm gonna create a new Lee element Oops. a new element and inside this Lee element I'm gonna put something like the hero name for example I can put a template called hero dot name let's see what happens And it doesn't chose any of my heroes. Oh, that's so. That's because um, something has happened here. And uh, here we have the error. We doesn't have the getter heroes. And these heroes should be inside the app component. So every public uh, every template only can access public public attribute of a class. So oops. Here I can say list of hero heroes and then control F5 again to see what happens and again an error a horrible error I didn't initialize my heroes sorry equal to heroes constant value And now here we have the heroes and the list of heroes with names. Uh, however, we don't want this, just this, because we want to do a, a, some styling and also do something a little bit different. So in there, I'm just gonna add a new template, uh, change the template. And there, I'm going here, go change the template here. 
and here uh, as you can see I'm just added in a spam and this spam has the class batch and this hero id the, the template hero id and also the template hero name not template what's the name it's an interpolation it's called interpolation not template sorry um, I don't know you can call it both okay so why what is this for let's see what happened now so if we just just play around this So as you can see, it shows the number, the ID, plus the name. However, uh, we want this in a dif little different style. Because if we see the original list, this one, we want this list in this way. So we can inspect this one. And we can see that the list also has a span. And this span has this um, styling. And this styling comes from somewhere we are gonna add just now. Okay, so next step will be add that styling. It's gonna be a little bit longer, so I'm not. I'm just gonna copy everything. And this styling will be in the app component. Where should we add the styling? Which will add it later or here inside the component annotation. Um, yes, and don't forget to put the const because in Dart every annotation is a constant and every constant can only have constant values. JavaScript doesn't have the concept of constants. Um, it does, but it's kind of annoying to explain that a constant is not always a constant, yeah. or it is, in fact, they have the, the, the value of final, not constant. So it's kind of difficult to explain that, but um, in that it's more clear, just constant is constant and that's it. Okay. So, next step will be to see what happens in our component. So, let's see what happens. Let's see if the styles change something and voila, we have something changed. Just changing the styles. And here the style is selected. The heroes. The hero Lee. And the hero Lee selected hover. And also, okay, you can see all those styles later so what will be the next step so my next step will be that every time that I click one of those heroes whenever I click one of these I want this part to be updated um, even though I think this one should be at the top doesn't matter okay so to do that, I'm just need to add the onclick event. To add an onclick event, sorry for that. I'm just gonna close this one. Uh, to add an onclick event, I just need to go to my template HTML, and here, the one I need is here, and I need to add the onclick event. So. I need to do this on, oops, lowercase on click equals to the, uh, let's call the function that's going to be executed. In this case, it's going to be on select hero. However, uh, this is the HTML file, HTML5 standard, but it's not always good to use this uh, because it has one more character the best way is using the parentheses even though it's less supported for the browsers i think i'm not completely sure of this um okay the recommendation is using this one not the other one because i think it's shorter and everything that is inside a parenthesis is the same as saying on so this is binding an event and on event it's going to execute this code inside this code we cannot have uh, we cannot do a new object we cannot do a plus plus we cannot do and so on and stuff but we can do most of the 
of the uh, Dart code, uh, Dart script. It's basically a script here. Hmm. Uh, we can do multiple calls, multiple function doing a semicolon, semicolon. But in this case, I'm just need one. So this function should exist in my app component dot dart. If this function doesn't exist inside my app component dot dart, it cannot be called. So I need to create a function call in here called on select. And this on select expect something, expect a hero. Okay. And as you can see, uh, this hero is this hero here. So basically what I'm telling is that whenever the user clicks the list, I'm going to pass the hero of the list inside the onSelect function. Uh, kind of difficult, but it's at the same time a lot easier to do it manually, to do it like with jQuery. Okay, so finally I just need to change my selected hero. I need to create a, a new variable called selected hero. So instead of hero, I'm gonna call it selected hero. And instead of new hero, I'm just gonna leave it as null or empty. That's something interesting in that, that in that only has null. It doesn't have undefined, only null. So here uh, we have selected hero and what I'm gonna do is just do selected hero equals to hero. Simple. Something interesting about that is that I don't need to put it this every time. The value of this is not uh, needed. Like in TypeScript or, or JavaScript. Okay, so now I have the template and whenever I click this one, I'm going to have a selected hero, hero. And since I changed the name here, I also should change the name here because it, in here it's called hero. So I could change it here to selected hero. And we are cool. Let me see, do we have anything anywhere else? Nope. Good. run this and most likely this is gonna show me an error yes there is an error and let's see what the error is about and here is the error if the error says that selected hero the name is the, the null value doesn't have any selected hero it's already any, any method called name because it's null so to uh, to avoid this null I'm just gonna ask doing an ng if I'm going to create a new div and just do an ng if equals to selected hero different from null, distinct to null. So now I have two div, the two main div elements. Um, you see, there is three different elements. This one should be inside. Sorry. And this one should be also called selected hero. So let's see this running again. And as you can see, the first time that I haven't selected any hero, uh, this one appears the first, but the first uh, details, the first div. So selecting one, it's gonna show me the selected hero. Now I can edit that selected hero, and it also change in the list. Oh, something interesting about this is that this one is not set as selected. Uh, let me see. On click select hero.
Okay. So here I just need to do to to be to this one to be checked to be like um, selected. Show was selected. I just need to add something and is a class selected. Something cool about the new version of that. Uh, let's add it. So here I'm just gonna say that class selected is gonna be equal to true whenever the hero is equal to the selected hero. Okay, um, so the class selected is gonna be added to this list. Let's see again. And now it shows us as selected. And cool. Okay. I think that's everything for this video. I expect you like it. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to click on like. Don't forget to share. Thank you.